Hi guys. How are you today? Connie with Reach by Connie M. With M stands for McCormick. I'm just a minute early. I'm trying to get my all my other stuff done. And I'm going to check on this um, Wi-Fi that they told me I needed so badly, but so far I'm not impressed with it yet. This is my first live. Hey Tracy. Hey Adrian. Try to get the live up. Let's see. Get all this good stuff done. For some reason not showing up yet. Let me see about this Wi-Fi thing that cost over $100. I'm not cool yet, Adrian. I'm waiting, though. <laughs> We're going to... I'm going to make a, a flamingo wreath today, and I'm just a little bit behind because... Um, I usually have the poofs done. There it is, finally. T took a while, but I'm already frozen. Am I already frozen? I'm not going to be happy with this at all. No, I'm not frozen there. Let me see what's going on here. Just going to take me a minute to get moving. I'm trying to get this many mini chat going here. Okay, let me do that. Maybe that's what I need to do. I don't know. Does everybody else have the same problems that I do? Hopefully not. I'm not frozen. Good. Hey, Tracy. And please forgive me if I don't see your comments yet. I'm trying to fight with this. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it and hope it works. Save and activate. Save. Alright. Says we're activated. So we're gonna keep on going. Now I'm gonna get out of here because it's making me too mad. So we're gonna do this and hold on a minute. We're gonna get going here any minute just have to find all my good stuff here so hi Patricia thank you how is the weather in Indianapolis I'm trying to get you guys up so I can read the comments down here instead of trying to read them on my phone which is nearly impossible to do So if you haven't watched me before, please type in alert and alert again and let me know if the bot is working. I'd appreciate it. Um, you have to type alert again though or you will not you will not get the message when I'm live. So we're gonna do a flamingo wreath today with this sign. Hey Nancy, how are you girlfriend? I'm gonna do this sign and we're gonna put this little guy in there and we're gonna have to get going because I have a lot of other stuff and guess what? I think I'm even gonna make a bow. Damon would be proud. <laughs> so, you got your notification? Awesome, awesome. So happy to hear that. Let me go back and see who I missed saying hi to. Hi, Kate. Tracy, I don't know if I said hi to you, but if I didn't, I'm saying it again. So if anyone new will type alert, and please tell me if the bot is reacts to it. Yes, I'm doing okay now that I've gotten 
I don't know if anybody was on or watched my other. I'm going to put you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. Watched my other live about all the laundry I've had to do. Oh, heavens, a bow. <laughs> yep, a bow, Adrian, a bow. So let's see what kind of view you have because I can't see until it comes up on my screen. Yeah. So I'm usually done with this part, but I'm a little behind today. I got everything else pretty much cut. That's the boring part. Thank you for sharing, Carla. I really appreciate that. And if you guys will please type alert and let me know if that bot is working today because it looked like my video was frozen on their end, so I don't know. I'm hoping if you haven't typed alert already. So I'm doing 10 inch poofs on the 14 inch frame and I usually try to get this done, but I'm almost done with it. So I see the end of the tunnel. Yes, Nancy, I added the balls myself. I always like to do that. I think they add a little bit of extra decoration. And Adrian, don't you think it's humid today? Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. It's humid, I think, here in Florida. I think it wants to rain. It needs to so we can get this humidity out of here. And hoping some cool weather's coming in. So say hi when you hop on. And if you'd share my video, I really would appreciate that. Please share the video. So I have one more 10 inch poop to do. And then we can get on the other stuff. So what's everyone doing on this Saturday afternoon? Frosty. just informing me there's a big black snake under my shed. <laughs> oh, great. At least it's under it and not in it, right? I know, right, Tracy? It's nice to have a day to be lazy. I've already folded four loads of laundry, so I'm glad that's over with, though. My favorite job to do, not. <laughs> So I'm going to cut this and tuck it in. Hey Debbie, you're babysitting grandkids. That's always fun. How old are they? I needed that twist zip tie. That's why I had it out. So I always zip tie it to make sure it stays. you all please share my video I appreciate it and if you haven't typed alert please type alert again and when the bot responds hopefully it will and if you see the red live up in the top corner it means I'm live if you don't see it I'm not live and I cannot respond and look who's here my little sweetheart Mackenzie in here helping me today. That's okay. Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> they can't see you, but you can say hi anyway. Hi. I'm saying We start spring break this week. Yay. <laughs> I'm getting a phone today. And she's getting a phone today. Ah, uh, you see this? This is not good. I have frozen on my end. And I'm Daga. not liking that. Daga. What? We need to see the comments. We don't need to see you. 
No, but it's not supposed to freeze. How is it on everybody else's end? Because you know what? If it doesn't freeze on your end, we're not complaining. Hi, Debbie. Debbie's saying hi. Hi, Debbie. You can help me read the comments. I couldn't, I couldn't, um, read the name right now. That's okay. What reef are we making? Worst thing in the world, phone. You got that right, Tony. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. Hi, Nikki. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. I'm glad to hear that. The C sounds like a K. So I'm me. just, I'm just poofing these open a little bit. Debbie says this. Awesome. Yeah, he told me I had to get these things called a pod, the Wi-Fi expert, supposedly. My internet's called, we have it with Comcast. Nancy says that she did. Yep, lose them to YouTube. Be careful where you let her go. What do you mean, Tony? Thank you, Daddy. She's sweet, thank you. There's a snake crawling up the I porch. know. Um, or not the porch. Crawling up? Crawling, no, I meant like up the ramp. They were, it was crawling she up the ramp. She is nine years old, Tony. I meant up the ramp. I didn't mean. Yes, I know. My husband informed us there's a snake underneath my shed. I wonder what kind it is. Knowing how much I hate snakes. Ugh. I was scared. I had to ask my mom to come with me. Yes. I was scared. I know. It is pretty scary. <laughs> so she's excited. She's got a week off YouTube. All kids of kids videos where all kinds of evil people lurk to hurt her. Yes, uh, believe me, we watch her activity very closely. Oh, the buzzing noise is my air conditioner that is right in front of me and behind my phone, which is my camera. I apologize for that noise. There isn't anything I could do about it. There, there are- Get out of there. <laughs> it's under my shed, so it's outside, which is fine with me. And believe me, we'll be looking when we open that door to come out. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. It's Aunt Cheryl watching. Cheryl. Yeah, it's one time we went to a, a spring. I can't remember if it was Rainbow Springs or one of those here in Florida. And there was a guy there who kept, he had a snake. He was holding a snake. And I am petrified of snakes. I don't like them. I don't care if they're friendly, if they're not friendly, and I don't want to touch them. But he really kept insisting on me touching them. I touched a snake once. Yeah. It was it was at a learning place, okay? You have to do to these days. My daughter have parental things set up. We do too, Debbie. We have all the It was at a learning all the blocks. On the field trip. Right. So I had to. No, but anyway, I it, I would not, not touch that snake. It it's was not slimy. Creepy, That's... creepy. You guys, snakes are not slimy. They're rough. Yeah, but they're creepy. Debbie says. <laughs> Thank I you, like Debbie. Those I mm -hmm. add those to most of my reads. Not all of them, but I thought this is a pretty one. We're gonna use this pink color, rose color, or whatever it is. What kind? Of, what are we making? We're baking a flamingo wreath. And we're going to use this oh, light pink. And we're going to use this six inch oh, on the outside to give it a little bit of decoration later. So we're going to do curls today. I know, I hate snakes too. No, you notice how when um, you read a book, there's usually a Yes, is there? Yeah, it, there's at least an animal in every book. For yeah, kids. I know. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. So we're just going right. to do these curls. Um, Be right back. All right, Adrian. Um, 
He read the ending of a book in class and it was very sad. Huh. Um, the dog was giving all of it, all it got. It was in a ah. race, a mushing race. So, we're hearing about a book she read. She's quite the... She's quite my girl, this one, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, there's no better thing than having a grandchild. I bought Scott Waterman's Flamingo Wreath, so pretty. I don't think I saw that. Mm -hmm. And I watched all of... Oh, yes, I did. I did see that. I did. It was pretty. He didn't have any more of those flamingos. <laughs> we live in South Florida, Nancy. Mm -hmm. And it's warm here. Very warm and humid today. They say we're supposed to be getting a cool front, but it lasts a whole all of one day. Always. So if you guys can share, I'd appreciate it. Share my video. And if you have not typed alert, type alert. And again, when you see the bot, you have to, t or when the bot responds, you have to type alert again. Mm -hmm. And please let me know if it's working. I'd appreciate it because it was acting kind of weird today. Yes, we have snakes and we have the air conditioner on. I apologize for the noise in the background. Unfortunately, it's a noisy air conditioner. So if anyone would like this wreath, it would be $60 including shipping. Thank you, Debbie. Please tell me if you get the message from the bot. You got the invite today. Awesome. Yes, I have the 4-in-1 spool holder, and I do like it a lot. Mainly Thank for... Um, Thank you, Debbie. Yes. Hello, Sandra. Hi, uh, Sandra. I wanted it mainly to hold my mesh. And... Um, I like it that it doesn't take up a whole lot of room because I don't have a whole lot of room. It does a good job holding it. Yep. It does a good job holding it. But the mesh will still break. Well, we cut the mesh, mesh with... Yeah, it's too hard to do this, honey. No, it's working. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Or Debbie, I okay. appreciate that. So, um, if you see the red live button at the top, it means I'm live. If you don't see it, it means I'm not live and I cannot respond. I always feel bad when I watch my replay and I see people asking. I like it, Nancy. I like it a lot. It, um, I will show it. Can you see it? I can't tell if you can see it or not, but... The reason I like it is because it has the three sections that you can add the mesh to. I can't see it. And I like to do all the mesh ahead of time. And, um, you know, the curls and the ruffles or whatever you're going to put on it. And it holds almost all of them. Yes, she is. She is a future wreath maker. But this is it. I'll just hold it up so you guys can see it. Oh. And this, I moved oh, yeah. the spool. Sometimes I use it for a, for a ribbon holder. But you can put all three dowels double like this, and it'll hold your mesh. That's what I like about it. It could hold almost the whole, you know, 18 ties worth of mesh. It is handy. Hi, hi, Iris. How are you today? Hi, Iris. I have my little granddaughter here reading comments for me. That's how I saw it, Nancy, with Regina showing it. I was, um, 
I told the funny story of my first live, I don't know if you watched it or not, about how I got this uh, wreath holder, or this um, four-in-one tool. I don't like to pay for shipping, so I messaged the page and asked if it was going to be on YouTube, or I'm sorry, Amazon. And she said, no, it wasn't and told me how much it would be for shipping, which I already knew how much it was for shipping. But, Iris says, hi cuties. <laughs> so, a couple days later, Regina texts me back, or messaged me back and said, um, I, it was a funny story because she says, I love my wand, so I will give, if you really want, like the, the, the mesh or the uh, four-in-one tool, I'll send it to you for free shipping because I really love my wand. <laughs> well, since my name is Connie and I knew that Connie Padini is the one who made her that wand, I thought, uh, I see the confusion now. My name is... Uh, so I had to tell her I'm not Connie Padini. I'm, there's so many Connies in this wreath community now, which is surprising to me. I need to turn this around. I knew that Connie was such a familiar name. Right. So I said, it wasn't me that made you that wand. I don't know if you guys saw the wand that Connie Padini made for her. But... <clears throat> Don't touch it. Stuff is hot, honey. Um, so anyway, she started, she was laughing and she said, because it's such a funny story, I will let you have it for free shipping anyway. So I thought that was really nice of her. <laughs> but it's worth the money even with the shipping. I'm just one of these people that I'll spend $69. Um, $69 to get the extra stuff so I don't have to pay for shipping. It was nice of her. I thought that was a really nice gesture. She didn't have to give me the free shipping because she just had the Connie's, Connie's confused. Oh, she just made Connie Padini. I don't know if you can go back and see um, Regina's videos, but Connie Padini made her a wand. Hey, Norma neighbor you're my neighbor girl um made her a wand because everyone called her the fairy godmother it was really pretty really a cute wand and because everyone was calling her the fairy godmother she made that for her i thought that was really nice too but i'm not connie padini some people still have me confused because hi Rita from Cincinnati um sorry I'm getting messages but anyway um, that was really a nice gesture I am NOT Connie Padini I know a lot of people get us confused um, I hear Connie is taking time off to travel with her husband and it's hard for people to know what Connie is what. I can't get over how many Connies there are, but that's the funny story behind my multi-tool holder. I guess it's called the four-in-one tool, and it's a pretty good price, even with the shipping. So I, was, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, but I'm happy she did that. She didn't have to, so that was a nice gesture. From our first video, we got a different camera holder. Yes, we did. Well, we didn't get a different camera holder. We just put Pup it higher. Papa just put it up higher. <coughs> so. <coughs> it's at a different angle. Right. Hoping everyone can see it better. So we're making this flamingo today. 
and um, if anybody wants it, it's 60 including shipping. And please share my video, I appreciate it. I'm trying to reach a thousand followers and I'm gonna give away a free sign. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Chris. So once I reach a thousand followers, I'm gonna give away a sign. Ooh, gonna lose my flamingo here. I don't wanna do that. I'm trying to, the challenge will be how to put this flamingo on the wreath. That's gonna be my next challenge. Before <laughs> losing it. Right, before having it get lost in the shed, right, when it falls on the floor? Yes. We have vacuuming to do in this. Thank you, Debbie. Don't really. So, we're going to actually make a bow today. Believe it or not, we're going to make a bow. I'm going to make Damon proud. <laughs> and probably Scott, too. Yeah, it's okay. So we're going to uh, try to keep the little one busy this week with being spring break. Mm. I'm getting a phone today. She's getting a phone today. But she's getting a phone, but she's going to new she she won't have her gizmo anymore, which I don't know. I kind of like the idea of the gizmo from Verizon. Chris, sorry, um, sorry about our... Oh, yes. Sorry about our air conditioner. Yes, the air conditioner is noisy. We apologize for that. I didn't know. <laughs> Uh, yes, he loves his bows. Damon does love his bows. And I usually don't put them on my wreaths because I really like the, I love the, the mesh. The mesh is my favorite part. So I usually don't put a lot of bows on my wreaths, but sometimes they call for one. I put one on my, a little one on my Easter wreath. I wasn't going to, but when I hung it up, it looked like there was a hole, so I had to add something. So I put a little bow on it. Hmm. So I noticed when I watch my live back, I always forget to introduce myself. <laughs> but, so I think, Oh, do you, Debbie? It's hot in Texas, too, huh? Yeah, I'm, we sure get a short winter, that's for sure. It is, because I keep it cooler in here. She <laughs> says the shed is cooler than my house. She's right, because I'm in here by myself, and I don't have to listen to it. It's cold in here! So I can have it as cold as I want to. Anyway, my name's Connie. I guess you guys figured that out with my story of Connie Padini. I am not Connie Padini. I'm Connie with Reads by Connie M. M stands for McCormick. That, um, like the seasoning, unfortunately, like I always say, excuse me, we're not related. Yeah, yeah. I wish we were related. We would be famous. We would be rich. <laughs> With seasoning. Yeah, rich with seasoning. <laughs> we could get a pool full of seasoning. I know. That would be actually great money. Yes, we could have a pool. I bet you would like that, wouldn't you? But it would be funny if the pool was full of seasoning. Anyone have any questions or? If you have not typed alert, please type alert. 
and then you have to type it twice. I'm not sure if it's working with this video because when I tried to set it up, it looked like the video was frozen. So please share the video. Yes, please share the video. Oh, I know my husband says I freeze him out, so when he goes to work, I turn it down very low. <laughs> Unfortunately, my husband's retired and he is home all the time, so I can't do that, Debbie. But I would like to tell you, that's one of our biggest, biggest misunderstandings because he's always hot. I mean, cold. Cold. As soon as it gets below 85, he's cold. Do you blink? That's what I say. And I'm always hot, so it makes it very uncomfortable for me. Let him get a blanket and let you have right. cool. It would be nice if he would get a blanket. But you know men, if, it's, if he's cold, that means it's cold. <laughs> Even though it's not. It's got to be hot. Right. And we Well, I keep forgetting I have this multi-purpose tool to hold my mesh. Sometimes I'm not used to, I can't remember things. We need, I think we need a bigger table. We do need a bigger table. Because everything is sticking together. Yep, we do need a bigger table, but we also need a bigger room. We need a bigger I shape. know, right, Dabby? My husband won't do that. He won't put, put extra clothes on when he can. It's hard when one is warm all the time and one is not. I mean, cold all the time and one is not. Yes, man, you're right. Get a heater, do something. I know. We're like sweating in the house. Uh huh. <laughs> be cold. So, unfortunately, you cannot see us and the wreath at the same time. You're right. Men. <laughs> But you don't need to see us. You're mainly, the main uh, reason you're here is to watch the wreath, so. <coughs> Debbie's asking you a question. Yes, I'm very excited to get my phone. Yes, she is. I had one, but then um, we got rid of it. She had one, but they then they got rid of it. But this one, we're keeping. My daughter's getting a special deal with AT and T, so she's um, able to get one for free. It's an apple. So, it's an apple. It's an apple. Oh, I didn't know you're getting an apple. They're giving you an apple for free. Wow. I think it's an apple. I don't know. Maybe. Huh. It's iPhone is the same thing, but right. I, I don't know if it's an iPhone. I don't know. So we're just going to do curls, and then we're going to do ruffles with the little pink. This is, um, a, this is starting to get very annoying. What? How it keeps sticking, and you have to keep yanking it. Right. The shipping wasn't bad, right, Nancy? And I probably would have eventually ordered it. But I really have to start watching what I spend because if you don't sell, I mean, you know, you just have to start selling in order to start to keep buying and not happening yet. So I'm hoping it starts. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Yeah, I have to watch what I'm spending now because I have so much stuff. And it's funny, you have all this stuff, but you never have what you need. Isn't that the way it goes? You have to keep adding more stuff. Right. You need to go through this. Well, shit. I'm not one that'll drive, so I always have to have someone drive me. I mean, I can drive, but I don't like to drive by myself just a weird we all have our phobias right just order it online so 
when I go to the store, I think I overspend because of that reason. If I was one that could just go in the, get in the car and drive to where I want to go, I don't think I'd spend as much. So I see mommy's on. Yeah. Say hi to mommy. Hi mommy. So that's my story. <laughs> I always spend more than I have, but don't we all, right? I've been wanting to do this flamingo wreath for a while, but I had the, uh, I had Easter, I had the one Easter wreath I wanted to do. Thank you, Debbie, I hope it does too. Mommy said hi, baby. Hello. Did you say hi? Hi. So ask her how she's feeling. How are you feeling? Yep. Debbie hopes that it'll work. That it'll help me. I am on Scott's page. Yes, you probably did, Debbie. Thank you. I love Scott. He's just awesome. Love, love, love Scott. He's funny and he's... He must have shared just, it on his page. I think I probably shared it. Did you find it on the VIP page, Debbie? I probably shared. You prob probably got it off me. So I cut these in 10 inch pieces and I'm going to ruffle them up. This is the 6 inch mesh from uh, Hobby Lobby. Not the greatest, but it uh, just adds a little bit of extra, Pizzazz. extra, right? Extra pizzazz. I'm sure that anyone can do that. I'm sure anyone can make that. Going home tomorrow. Awesome. She's feeling better today, I think. Are you feeling better, honey? She's not as nasally. Good, I'm glad to see it's working. I'm trying to see if this will be too much white. Well, I'm going to be putting ribbon on too, so. Shouldn't be. Anyone can make this type of uh, This type of mesh? She calls this a bow. I guess it's a bow. It looks That's, like a bow. It does look kind of like a bow. Anyone can do that. That's easy. Yes. I've been teaching her. She has. Of course, she got through maybe a quarter of it. Thanks, Lydia. She got through maybe a quarter of making a wreath, and then she was bored. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished I have, it. I don't have much patience. No, you're a typical kid. <laughs> so we're just going to put these little ruffles on. Alright, Debbie, thanks for watching. Share it, please. Yes, please share the video. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. I just thought of that. Probably the restaurants are going to be crazy busy today. I call St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for sharing, Day. Lydia. Thank you. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> so, even though I cut this, see, I cut all this mesh with a hot, um, what I always think, I can't ever remember what it's called. It's the hot you know, 
Thank you, Penny. Look, the Penny said. Thank you, Penny. Um, the hot tool, whatever it's called. The hot iron, whatever. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Penny. I like to do that. I think it's it adds to them. I think it's you, you know they sell these wreaths with the twist ties or yeah the wreath frames with the twist ties on them. But I like to add my own. Just adds a little extra something. paint them, Penny. They come colored. They're all different colors. They come in lots of different colors. Oh, there's light blue. Yep, there is light blue. Yeah. But we're not putting light blue on this one. So I cut everything in 10 inches. The poops are 10 inches. So if you could share my video, I appreciate it. If you've been here before, you've heard me probably say this over and over, but I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. So I have, I have a prize to give away. Let's see, I think I got all of them on the top. Yep, fine for the bottom row. Maybe we should make a celebration We'll be celebrating if we get a thousand followers, that's for sure. Making celebration wreath. We'll make a celebration wreath, right? And it won't be someone, no. someone asked uh, if I would make a cheerleader wreath. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yep, she lives in the UK. Not that these wreaths and I would like to do that. I need to try to get to the store and see what they have that pertains to cheerleading. Pom poms? Yep, we can get some pom poms and all that stuff. Thank you, Norma. Thank you for sharing, Norma. I appreciate that. No, I don't see Mesh Man today. <laughs> I was just wondering. Saturdays are hard because a lot of people do a lot of things on Saturdays on their day off. but And they're probably out trying to get St. Patrick's stuff because tomorrow is St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's day. day. Yep. So... There's... Uh, I'm a... Uh, member of the shrine, the Ladies Oriental Shrine, and um, we're having a quarter auction when? on May, March 29th. We already have. So, we raise money for the uh, Shriner Hospital in Tampa. Is it? The second day, like, usually goes to so I usually do that to help donate for it. They are a very good organization. They have helped a lot of children. It's a good cause. And 
my sister's actually, what do you call the head of it? This year, she's the top the girl this year. I can't, I think it's called a, some kind of princess. You know what? I can't ever remember all the Shiny names. I know the guy's called uh, Potente, the head guy. No, I don't know. Someday you'll learn how to do it all. Oh. Yeah. Could you do that? No, it'd be too hard, honey. Not like a little, though. Like the ones that you're making I right know. now. I know what you're saying. But we can't take a whole lot of time up because everyone gets bored then, you know. Yeah. Like you're probably getting bored standing there, aren't you? No. Not yet? No. <laughs> Everyone's keeping me busy. Everyone's keeping you busy? Yes. There's not a whole lot of comments to read. Everybody's just relaxing. I can't blame you. Where's everyone from? I know where Norma's from. She's not far from me. She's in South Florida like I am. How are you feeling, Norma, by the way? So we're just going to keep on going. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, Betts, Ohio. Is that how you say it, Penny? How's your weather? You guys have had some major snow this year, haven't you? What is what's what is the main city that's near? I know someone who lives in. Um, oh, it starts with a W. I can't ever think. You're feeling the same. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. I think someone's from New Jersey. I think one of you are from New Jersey. Adrian's from New Jersey, but I she's knew. not here right now. I knew it. Yep, you're right. I knew it. <laughs> I took she a remembered. Guess. How's that? She remembered where somebody was from. I didn't. I did. I just took a guess. You took a guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of snow this year, but today it's dry and about 40 degrees. Ah, oh, that's perfect weather for me. I love 40 degrees. And someone's in there. Maybe not. I'm sure. I can't remember where my friends from Warsaw or Warsh. I don't. I can't remember. Names are hard to pronounce and hard to remember. I uh, know, especially when you get old. <laughs> Columbus. Oh, okay. I wish I could remember that city she's from. It's a W A R. I, I remember. I think if I have it right. <laughs> so, if anyone would like this wreath, it's sixty, including shipping. You can you can either email me or. It'll be in my Etsy shop, Reads by Connie M. M. Like McCormick, the seasoning. We're not related. We're not related. <laughs> we would be rich if we were. We would have like a mansion shed. That's right. <laughs> and a mansion house. That's right. <laughs> With like a room for everything. Yep, you're right. And organization. <laughs> Tool. I cut the mesh with the heat tool, and it still frays. Can you believe it? Not as bad though. I definitely don't think it frays as bad as when you just used a rotary cutter. I've only seen one that has frayed pretty bad, but I think that's because it's touching. Yeah, so if you mess with it, yeah, like the ends. Right. The ends. And this is the Hobby Lobby mesh, so. This one is. It's not always the greatest. But I 
I think it's yeah, I think it's thin. Everybody says I need to buy the premium mesh, but I don't think this six inch mesh comes in premium. I'm not sure. We can always cut it. Yep, we can always cut it. going to, um, it was funny when I first saw that when I got this ribbon, I kept trying to scratch off the black part. I thought it was some kind of black felt <laughs> and it's the flamingo nose. <laughs> so I'm going to cut nine of these because I'm going to put them in every other twist tie. And I'm not sure if we're going to add some flex tubing or not. We might read. Maybe for the bow. Maybe. Four, five, Very six, seven, precise, whatever you need to eight, nine. Nine yep. ribbon. Nine. Thirteen inch ribbon. So if you guys could share, we appreciate it. Share, share. Everyone's being so quiet. Everyone is just relaxing today, I think. Mm -hmm. Just a lazy Saturday, right? Yeah, but maybe not lazy. Maybe like rushing because tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. Maybe. That De could be. Decoration. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone having a party for St. Patrick's Day? Letters. Got sparkles all over the table. Once I got a plastic cup for my leprechaun and I asked it to bathe, and when it did, the water turned green. Huh. Wow. 
to prove that's how. I do the same thing, Penny. A lot of times I'll watch someone else's live and, and make a wreath while I'm doing it. Learning how to make a wreath while watching. That's it. But you have to pause it's, it a lot. It's because always uh, entertaining or I find it relaxing to watch other people's lives just while I'm go, making a wreath. Just go to the floor with the Yeah, we have to vacuum this floor. If you guys ever get a carpet, a shed, a shed or stuffing. or craft room. Don't put carpet. No carpet. That's right. Don't put carpet on the floor. Because we made a big mistake doing that. The floor is rainbow. You know how mesh sticks to everything? Well, you should see how it sticks to carpet. And it does not like to be vacuumed up. Or at swept. all. Or swept. All swept. Or swept. Our floor looks like it has a rainbow mess. Glittery, know. Rainbow Glittery mess. rainbow mess that we can't seem to vacuum up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, I count out loud and I still sometimes don't count right. <laughs> still have an extra one now and then that pops up. I love this ribbon. I got the ribbon from uh, Scott from Waterman's Loft. Just love it. I just love it. Very high quality, good stuff. Everything sticks to carpet. Yes, everything, everything sticks with. to carpet. So don't ever put carpet in your craft room. Everything that we were Not with. if you're making wreaths anyway. Yeah. Not if you're working with mesh. That's right. Not or, if you're working with mesh. Or anything that falls apart. Yep. If you're just hopping on, we're making a flamingo wreath today. And the buzzing noise is the air conditioner. And the buzzing noise is the noisy air conditioner. And we hope that you share the video. And we hope you share the video. That's right. Mm -hmm. I hope my grandma remembers that. Yes, she do, baby. Mm -hmm. She's my doll, this one. Greater pleasure than a little granddaughter, that's for sure. Um, my grandma told you guys a story that I didn't even know that said, I love my grandpuppies. <laughs> but then, um, my grandfather suggested taking it down since, um, she's getting a grandma, a granddaughter. That's right. Mm -hmm. We used to have a sign that said, I love my granddogs. But now, we don't have that sign up anymore. <laughs> I think that you, do you guys still have it? I'm sure we have it somewhere. In the, uh, so we're just dovetailing these, dovetailing whatever it's called, dovetail, ducktail. Ducktails? I've heard so many different stories. So if anyone typed alert during this video, can you tell me if the bot responded? It was kind of acting wonky. I don't know if it worked or not. Oh, they can see it. They can see it. Yep. <laughs> you have to type alert twice, though, or you will not get the notification when, the, when I go live. You guys might be able to see the iPad and the screen is delayed. We only know that. Okay. Well now they know. Mm -hmm. yep. 
Thanks, Penny. Let me know if the bot responded. I really appreciate that. I tried to set it up. It looked like the, you know, you're supposed to click on your video to set it up. And it looked like my video was frozen. But, so I wasn't sure if it actually got set up or not. this story. If you ever go in to buy a shed. Get a bigger, a giant one. Yes. Because we, we bought a small one, but now there's hardly even enough room to walk in. I know. Well, it looks big when it's empty. But it's small when everything is in it. Right. But after you get everything in it, it gets small very quickly. I wish I had it to do over again, that's for sure. So we're getting this back, and then we're going to add the ribbon ties. I hope the color is better on you guys then, because that color is horrible on my end. Oh, you know what? I never turned my light on. attention here. I guess, oh, I guess the flamingos are going sideways, so it doesn't matter how I put the ribbon in. You know what I think? I have to tell you guys a funny story. I originally bought this shed because I wanted to have it for a sewing shed. Thank you, Candy. And my sewing machine's in here somewhere, but one talking about upside down things, I was making a shirt that had hot air balloons on the material, and the hot air balloons were were going only in one direction. Well, you know how regular balloons are upside down from hot air balloons, <laughs> if you can picture a regular balloon. So I made that whole shirt upside down. And I wore it, I don't know how often, before someone said, Did I see that? You know those hot air balloons are upside down? I thought, oh crud. <laughs> Read what Candy says. 
Yep. She's in here with me. Are you reading it? Uh-huh. Say thank you. Thank you. So if everybody can please share my video and follow my page, like and follow. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. So. If we get to a thousand followers, we will have a celebration. Oh my gosh. There's We're going to have a celebration. The yes, there's wire in the ribbon. That's, look I, at this wire. It's I just hanging found, out. I never knew that there was wire in ribbon. I, ne I just learned that. Yep. You're learning, right? Yes. And you guys learned something from me today, too. That's right. You learned about potato chips. She told the story about how potato chips were invented. By accident. By accident. So I don't know if that wire went all the way back down in there. Who cares? Why is it coming out anyway? It's not supposed to be coming out. It's defective. <laughs> Well, this one piece is giving me a wonky fit here. <laughs> it's a defective wire. Oh, but it went back in, so that's good. It's bendable, but there's a wire. It's strange. Well, that's how it makes it stiff, because there's a wire in it. You see? Yeah, it's still strange, because it's mm -hmm. flexible. So we're going to add these in every other twist tie. Is it? We'll no, to, that's the way it was. We'll have to cut it so no one gets hurt. Hey, Regina. How are you, girlfriend? Hi, Regina. Is Regina the one who lives in um, um, New Jersey? I don't think so. She wondered if you live in New Jersey, Regina. She's trying to figure out who everyone is from the last live. <laughs> Where did I get the... Hi, Barbara. I got the warp uh, form from the Dollar Tree. It's just a 14-inch wire frame. And I add the uh, styrofoam balls to the Chanel stems. I get them at Hobby Lobby. And we're just making a flamingo wreath today. If you have not typed alert and like to know when I'm live, please type alert. And alert again when the bot messages you. If you don't type alert again, it won't work. She lives in Tennessee. We love okay. going to Tennessee. Someone lives in New Jersey. She's trying to figure out who's... You're welcome, Barbara. I got the flamingo ribbon from Waterman's Loft. Scott Waterman. Not sure if he has any more of this kind. But you can check. Aw, thanks, Regina. I appreciate Thank that. You. So if anybody would like this wreath, it's $60 including shipping. And you can either send me a message or it'll be on my Etsy shop. Or it's by Connie M. M like McCormick. Right? What else do we say? But we're not related to the, um, we're not related to the spice. Yes, yeah, uh, Scott Waterman's awesome. We're not related to the Spice Company, but we wish we were. <laughs> Having trouble with this. I probably should not have. I don't know what this wire is doing. I love this ribbon, but this wire, for some reason, wants to poke out here. She's replying to someone else. Oh, sometimes that happens when you 
reply if it says that you're replying to yourself, but you're not. Uh-huh. Damon? I asked Damon the other day how he des decides what videos to watch. He says Facebook tells him who to watch. It pops up on his screen. That's okay, because I'd probably be a little nervous if Damon was in here. <laughs> I am but I would love oh, to have him in here. He's awesome. Thank you, Regina. Appreciate Thank you, Regina. that. If we get how many viewers? If we get a thousand followers. We're going to make a celebration wreath, and we're going to send someone a free gift. And we're going to celebrate. Yes, we're going to celebrate, that's for sure. Well, I know why now the wire's coming out. I just saw what happens. This mesh is catching it and pulling it out. Ah, the mesh is being defective to the ribbon. The mesh is being wonky and grabbing everything like it usually does. Well, it's normal behavior. Right. So we got to make sure we keep the ribbon away from the mesh, at least until we get it on here. All the way. You want to hold the ribbon? Let's here you go. You have to give me one of each color. You're welcome. Oh, just wondering. Trim the wire off because... I'm afraid I will miss a piece and my dog will step on it. Oh, right. I know. I've never had that problem, but I wasn't paying attention. So that's what happens. The, the mesh is grabbing a hold of the wire. And as soon as I move the ribbon, it's pulling it out. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Hi, Donna. Making a flamingo read today. Where are you from, Donna? My little granddaughter's in here helping me. So we're gonna coming out. Don't pull on it. No, I was trying to push it in. Okay, can I have a flamingo piece? trying to make sure we get all the wires thrown in the garbage because I have a little dog in, in here too, yes. Candy. You just uh, told me that I really better be careful. I wasn't ever thinking about my little dog. Donna's from Kentucky. Donna, are you the one that had so many problems with the wind in your uh, craft room? Um, someone's... So you know. Someone said the other day uh, the wind was so bad it was blowing the roof off their craft room in Kentucky. appreciate that so much, Faith. I'm not quite sure what you meant by it went into a party, which you must have on one. That's what I'm confused on. But I do appreciate you liking and sharing my page. There's Aunt Dawn. Hi, Aunt Dawn. Donna was, or no. Regina was tagging. Baby. Regina, yes. Really, Donna? That that was not good. Regina. Thank you for tagging people, Regina. And sharing, we appreciate it. Yes. We're trying to get. Where are we trying to get to? 
1,000 viewers. We're trying to get to a thousand followers. Or followers. I have no clue. So we can have have a celebration. I need the the flamingo one there. We have two flamingos. Yes, yeah, so we can have oh, a we a celebration. Make a celebration wreath and, and give someone a free prize. And we're gonna send someone a free prize if we reach a thousand followers. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that, Regina. So if anybody would like this wreath, it's um, $60 including shipping. You can tell me on the live or check out my Etsy shop, Wreaths by Connie M. And for wow, really, Donna? Hi, Susie. Am I hearing wind? No, you're not hearing wind. <laughs> it's not windy here at all. Sadly, it's hot here. Humid, Sadly. hot, and humid. If only it was winter. <laughs> Though this winter wasn't very cold. No, we did not have a very cold winter. Uh-oh, what after, are we doing here? After winter, it was, it was like all the cold fronts and stuff. We didn't get very many cold fronts this year. Susie said hello. I'm saying her name, right? Hello, Susie. We already said hello to Susie. I did. Hi. You didn't. I didn't. Hi, Susie. Please type alert if you'd like to know when I'm going live. Share the video, please. Share the video. Would like love a little hot, right, Susie? We need where are to you, have where are you from? For followers. We can send you some of our heat. It's always well, hot here in Florida. If you're getting sick and tired of the cold, come to Florida. Yep, come to Florida. My helper is nine years old. Nine years old. She's my little sweet granddaughter. The love of my life. Me. You're from I Western like Kentucky. Is it still hot up there? There's others in here from Kentucky. I believe that's what Donna said she was from. I got one down, but it didn't go all the way. We got one more twist tie or ribbon to put on. Scott Waterman reached his goal 23.5 and today he's going to give away. Oh yeah, what time is that, Barbara? What time is that live? I forgot about that. I don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I watch that. I completely forgot about him doing that. One more. Right, Donna's from Kentucky. Not sure yet. Can you let me know? Because I want to make sure I'm done before he gets on there. We want to see the video. Or, my grandmother does. <laughs> but I think he said we could watch the replay and, and uh, still comment to be entered. Entered. You've been waiting for the alert. Did you type alert, Barbara, on my on here and nothing happened? Because I think type someone it once and then twice. Yeah, I think someone said it was working, but I'm a little concerned because it didn't act right. It's working for some people. By the lakes. Okay, so we have all our twist ties on. So now we're going to. Um, Add the flamingo. Add the sign and the flamingo. Oh. Wait, who's in which I hate doing. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Because I never do it right. So we're going to add this sign and this little flamingo here. Um, MJ says next. To see. Missed you too, MJ. Where you been, girl? Hi, MJ. Addisonville. So we're going to add these two things. 
Hopefully. <laughs> So whoever was waiting for the message to uh, reply, please let me know if it ever did. I may have to uh, try it again here. I cannot throw bubble wrap away until every bubble is popped. So we're going to cut this I off. Awesome. Thank you, Barbara. It's working. So did you get the alert from the live or from me going live? Oh, you got it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This flamingo I got at um, Home, or Hobby Lobby. on the list so far but I was worried about how it's set up for this live because it didn't act right so I wasn't sure so we're going to attempt to put um, we're going to attempt to put the um, twist ties on here with a stapler and if it doesn't work, we'll have to put the um, the zip tie holders on it, whatever they're called, cable mount holders instead. I don't know. NJ, I appreciate you typing the alert. Please let me know if the bot works. Oh, we have a little you have a little battery? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on, I need to batteries. need to plug my phone in. I forgot I didn't do that today. Glad you noticed that pumpkin. Yep. That would not have been good. stapler's gonna work amazingly I'm waiting for my glue gun to warm up so I could add some hot glue again if anybody would like this flamingo wreath it's $60 including shipping oh lay down but MJ I hope you feel better to reach a thousand followers. Is he letting you pick him up? Yeah. Huh. The staplers, excuse the noise, didn't go in very far. 
Hello, Nancy. How are you? Thank you so much for sharing. I so appreciate it. Oh, my glue gun's not ready yet. These things can take so long sometimes. Put it down, honey. I know. Put them down. They're sharp. I really appreciate the shares. Thank you, Tanya. Excuse the noisy air conditioner. I apologize. I wish I, I wish it wasn't so noisy, but it would be terribly hot without it. I'm just looking at this flamingo. It almost looks more red than pink, but I don't care. It's still going on this wreath. Going on there. Let me see that other one, honey. Let me see that other flamingo. Okay, so I also have this flamingo. I'm wondering if this one would look better on here. Maybe it would. I think it would. I think this flamingo will look better rather than this one. Thank you so much for sharing, everyone. I really appreciate that. If you could like and follow my page, I'm trying to get to a thousand followers so I could give away a sign. Yes, I agree, Tanya, right? This flamingo's better. That one. And I think I'm going to take this base off of here. And hopefully I'll be able to get this base off of here. It just looks like it's screwed on. <gasps> ah, look what I just did. You broke the flamingo. I can't believe that. You broke it. I totally did. Oh, no. I totally broke this for flamingo. I'm so upset. Was it cheap? This could only happen on a live, right? Was it cheap? It was not cheap. Oh. So I could, That's hopefully I can could glue it and see, but I'm sure not going to use it. Right, Candy? It does match better, but I totally just broke it. I am so upset. And this glue gun's getting me fits because it won't warm up. I do too. I like it better. For sure. So upset. I'm so upset. And I'm sure Hobby Lobby don't have any more of these. But. Well, I'm not going to use this one. Yeah, I'm, I am gluing it. I'm, I'm going to see if it will stay, if it'll, if you won't be able to. It's only broken on the back of it, but it's just so upsetting. You see the kind of things that happen in the live. This is it. With all your glory. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see if my husband could maybe fix it better, but it is prettier. I may go back to Hobby Lobby and see, but it makes me mad that they would make something so, it looked like it's such thick wood, and to make it that easily broke to break, that just annoys me. So, I don't like to sell anything that's not quality, but that's pretty bad. I really need to take it back to Hobby Lobby and show them what quality is they didn't have. So, getting back to this, I'm going to glue this, glue the... Uh, staples on to make it stay better. Yeah, that 
it's really upsetting. Oh well. Can't do anything about it. That was stupid on my part. I should have just unscrewed the base. I don't know. Do you see anything that fell? Something fell over here. So we're going to... I know, right, Candy? Just so annoying that you spend... And it wasn't a cheap flamingo either. It was... I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't cheap. I'm going to go back there and see if I can find another one. Because I do like the pink better than the red. But... Well, what can you do, right? The pink is better, but the red will work. Oh well, onward. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. Yeah, it's funny in this light, it looks red to me, but Maybe I could add some ribbon to make it in the bow to make it match better. Is there another flamingo over there, honey? Did I get another one? I can't remember now. But we're just going to keep on plugging. I'm, I want to make sure I don't miss Scott live, even though uh, he says we can watch the replay because he's giving away that ribbon box. I don't know why I worry about it. I never win anything. <laughs> I never win anything. I'd be shocked. So I'm gonna just tighten these uh, twist ties. But I could go back and do that after after the live. Oops. So we're going to put this sign on. I think I'll put it over to the side and I think I'll just put a couple bows instead of a flamingo. And if I find the flamingo then I'll come back and add it. I'm not going to add something that's broken to my wreath. I wouldn't want something like that to happen to me. I love Scott too. He's awesome. He is awesome. So we're going to put this off to the side and then I'm going to add a bow here and maybe a bow there. Yep, that's true, Candy. I'm with you, girlfriend. I never win, but it's always nice to see who does win. I hate doing signs. I never get them on right. Where's that other one? I know it's in there somewhere. Uh-huh. Ah. Just loves hiding. Everybody else makes this look so easy. <laughs> Not ever easy for me. There it is. Get in there. Alright, finally 
got it. Awesome, Donna. Thank you, Faith. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. That's great. Nice to see some people win something. I wanted to win the convention ticket so bad last year. Uh -huh. But, of course, I didn't... <laughs> I wish I could go this year, but it's not going to happen. But at least I get to watch it for free because I was, I um, had the convention ticket last year, so if anyone had the convention ticket last year, we get to watch this year for free. So that's a good thing. is the annoying buzz the in the background that is my air conditioner Jeanette I apologize for that it, it is it is noisy why is the, why isn't it charging tell me my tell me my uh, charger is not working hang on everyone What is it on? Yes, it is. The light is on. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have it plugged in enough. Well, let's try this one. Sorry. I know the camera's shaking. I apologize. I'm trying to plug it in. Hoping that's working now. charger's working because I still got a notice that said I was low battery so and I had it plugged in please forgive the air conditioner noise I'm sorry it is it can be annoying So humid here today. It's supposed to get some rain, they were saying, and it's supposed to cool off, but it'll probably only last a day. That's all we ever get. And then it's right back up there. Okay, just put them down, baby. Don't hold the door open. Remember the snake under there. No, I'm not. So my, my husband informed me there's a snake under my shed. So don't hold the door open. Close it. So... We opened the door and my dog just ran right out. He thought, freedom. Is it, I wish it was chilly here. It's sure not chilly here at all. Now, did that sign get put in the right place? Probably not. It's always my problem. Let me see this sign. Ugh. 
Don't you guys hate putting signs on? That's the only thing I don't like about doing a wreath is putting the signs on. Alright, so now we're going to make a bow and I think I'm going to... Let's see. I think it kind of matches that ribbon pretty well. Yep, that's the one we're going to use. I'm not putting a broken one on here at all. I'm going to bring this back to Hobby Lobby and tell them how upset I am that it broke so easily. Here we go. Put that over there, please. So we're going to make a bow with the Pro Bow. noisy air conditioner again. That's fine, honey. You can go in. No, leave him in here, please. Say goodbye to everyone. Tell them you're going in. Bye, guys. I'm going in. I'll see you on the next live. Yep, she'll see you all on the next live. I don't think Papa wants him inside, so leave him in, please. Leave him out here. So I'm going to make a bow. Make Damon and Scott proud to put a bow on my wreath, which I usually don't do. But we're going to do it with this one. And hope for the best. <laughs> Can't promise anything, but we'll see. I gotta cut my two wires. I don't know where this wire came from, but I know this one's not long enough, so we're not gonna use that one. absolutely do love my grandbaby. There's nothing, nothing better in this world than a grandbaby. She's my whole life, that's for sure. I wouldn't know what to do without her. I just wish I could slow her down. She's growing way too fast. She's nine years old already. She was only a little peanut when she was born. She was a month early, so she was only four pounds. Almost the size of my hand. It was almost scary to, to hold her. She was so small. But I'm grateful to God that she grew normally and she's a perfect little girl. So I think we'll do one on the D row. I don't usually make them that big, but we're going to make a big one and put, put that flamingo in it somehow. This flamingo's wire, so it better not break. You have six. Oh, Donna, you are blessed. I only have the one. Oh, we don't need that big one. She's my only one. I had three children, and my daughters don't want children. I never dreamed that that would happen at all. Mackenzie's actually my son's daughter. We, she lives with us. And I thank God every day for her, because I didn't think I'd have any grandchildren. So sorry about this air conditioner. I just hope it doesn't annoy too many people. And stupid me, I made one of these wires smaller and shorter than the other. 
I don't usually make too many bows, so this this is another challenge for me. So we're going to use the flamingo ribbon and we're definitely going to use this polka dot ribbon because that matches the wire flamingo. see. Well, let's see. Well, I should have put those on last because those are the bottom. Let me get these other ones. So I have some of that too to use. Oh, that's weird. Look at that ribbon. It doesn't have a hole on the other side. Do you make a lot of them, Faith? I need to I need to really uh, start practicing because I should make more than I do and I don't. <laughs> so we're gonna use this light pink and this dark pink. try to put something under the AC so it doesn't vibrate against the window case. I actually have, it's not vibrating on the window, it's actually just a noisy air conditioner. I um, have foam all the way around it and it just doesn't help. Because you notice that it's quieter now, it's because um, the compressor went off. The compressor's really noisy on it. All right, so let's get started on this bow. Did I, I miss something? What did Donna say? My youngest granddaughter was five pounds. My youngest grandson was born. He's one pound. Wow. I bet he is a miracle, right? Isn't it amazing how they, you know, when I, when my granddaughter was so little, I was scared and my, the doctor said, it's amazing how well they do when he was right. It scared me knowing she was so little. So we're gonna, I want to somehow grab all of these at once and I think the only way to do that is to put this on the back of this one somehow so we'll do it like this grab this one I want to grab them all together I seem to have better luck when I do it that way We're going to put all three of these on the beginning part of the wreath, or the bow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wish there was a way to correct it, Candy. Believe me, I would try it. But it's the, it's the compressor that makes so much noise. Because if you notice, you can't hardly hear it right now, and it's still on. At least I don't think you can hear it right now. Can you hear it still? So this should be challenging, guys. This should be challenging. Name is Gabrielle. He's a little fighter. That's so awesome. Yeah, I think once they hit five pounds, they're good. That's why I was so nervous about her being so little. She was only four pounds. I can't remember how many ounces she was. But she was extremely tiny. She about covered my husband's hand. That's how small she was. Hi, Lori. 
Welcome. Ugh, that's scary. My live just went off. I sure hope I'm being, I hope my phone's charging right now. <coughs> Technology, it's wonderful when it works, but it's not so wonderful when it doesn't work. But so far my, my pods are working. What do y'all think? My Comcast pods, they said I had to get. That's what they're called. All right, so we're gonna put this up there like that. And did I start wrong already? We'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I thought this had to go the other way for some reason. I did. Let me see. Yep, I already got something going on here. My son's being small was a blessing. He had a multi cystic kidney, and had we been bigger, would we? They wouldn't have found it. Oh wow! That's awesome. I'm glad they were able to find that. So we're going to go around, give it a little twist. Next post. I might need all my posts for this bow. I didn't put them all in. I mean, at least one more. And give it a little twist around this post. I never put my helper put wire in. We can do that now. Won't hurt anything. Hopefully we can do it now. I want to make sure I have an extra wire. Get in there. Come on, get in there. All right. pounds is a good normal size five pounds still gets a little scary but you know they're amazing little miracles give it a little twist and do one more post with this one these colors and then I need to bring the other colors in hear the noisy compressor pull it tight before you tie it off Yes, I definitely will. Can't twist them. Thank you for sharing, Carla. I really, really appreciate that. Um, well, I have never done three either, girl, so hopefully it works. <laughs> I usually do at least two. Mm, that's nice. My post decided to pop off there. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get this completely done today. Um, 
I may have to come back and finish it. Let's see how long these bows take to do. Oh, these pegs are not cooperating. They want to be popping out. be interesting. It will be interesting. So now we're going to put the uh, other two ribbons on. I hope I have enough on this roll. I don't know. to see. We'll see. Hopefully I have enough on this roll. I have another roll if I don't, but hoping. pound puppy is climbing all over my 82 pound dog. I think it's so cute, but of course the big dog doesn't. <laughs> Two turns of that last one. Did I do something wrong? I wouldn't doubt it if I did, believe me. We'll find out. Did I twist one twice. Oh, I think I might have enough ribbon for this. And I think I need to add another peg for this bow. No, do twice on the last finger. Oh, yeah, I could do that. But I always find it easier just to add another peg. <laughs> I definitely could do twice on the last peg. But we're going to just add a peg. I make these bows. The, only, the, the last pegs always seem to stick out. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to you, Faith, and I am gonna add just another time on this peg because for some reason the last peg seems to stick out too far on the bow. I don't know why, and it always seems longer. <clears throat> One time I was so upset, I made a bow and I had four pegs on one side and three on another. And I didn't know it until after I was done with the bow. Oh, I was so mad. But we learned from our mistake, right? Yeah, the pro bow was challenging for me too. But now I seem to have better luck with it. It takes a lot of practice. So I'm going to cut this off. So 
So again, this is going to be 60 including shipping if anyone's interested. You can message me. Turn it before you tie it off. Turn it. Did I do something wrong? Turn what? What do you mean turn it? Turn it before you tie it off. Lord, I don't know what that means. <laughs> the tail. Oh, you know what? I probably all I I always get these tails wrong. I always do. I always tie them the wrong way and then I have to flip them. That's probably why I don't turn them. <laughs> That's probably where I made the mistake, make the mistake. Okay, I'll get rid of all these ribbon spools so I can get the wreath back up here. Oh, I love this flamingo wreath. This for flamingo ribbon is just so nice. All right, here we go. This will be the test. See how this works. why I'm putting these away but we'll see I don't know if I'm I probably won't have time to make another bow today but we'll see I might come back later this evening message from Damon he has entered in a contest FedEx is having I am definitely going to vote for him I did see a I did see a message come through for, from Damon I wasn't sure what it said though so that's it huh yeah, well, I'll have to, I'm sure he'll win. He's got a lot of followers. But we'll all have to go over and vote for him. Wouldn't it be nice to have a, a live with a thousand followers? Ugh. I would be so absolutely ecstatic with that. Um... I mean a thousand viewers that would be awesome so I got my pro bow here that my husband made for me I'm not my pro bow no. fluff box hi Leanne welcome Yeah, I'm sure he'll win. He has a lot of people that follow him. I think when, <clears throat> one time when we were in the inner circle, he um, was showing his <clears throat> mini chat or whatever it was. And it looked like he had <clears throat> 22,000 subscribers on there. See, Faith, you're right. Look, look at here. Look at this tail. I always goof up on the tails. I should be flopping them and I don't. Flipping them. And I'll have to go back and dovetail them. So we're just going to do a little fluffing and hope this comes out good. It'll be interesting with this three and one. It was kind of dumb of me to experiment with three on one spool on a live, wasn't it? That's okay, we'll all learn together. <laughs> Hi Patricia. And back, did you get the snake? 
<laughs> no, honey, I didn't get the snake. It's still out there somewhere. <laughs> he's still out there. Hopefully he's a long way away from here, though. I'm hoping he needs to go find himself a different home. <laughs> Luckily, snakes aren't very fast, so I'm all right as long as they're outside and I'm in here. Hey, I have a I have a tail that's in the right direction. Would you believe it? Yes, please type alert and alert again when you get the bot message so you'll know when I'm live. This bow is going to be an interesting bow. Hopefully it looks good, but you know what? There's no promises. <laughs> no promising. It sure doesn't look so good when you're fluffing. Thank you, Candy. A lot of times, I don't even like the tails. I like to just cut them all off completely. This is going to be interesting. Interesting bow. And you know you just keep fluffing and fluffing. It drives you crazy. Take him off. Take it off and look at it. Don't be afraid to pull it. Yeah, but can he sneak under the door? I would move. <laughs> he can't get under my door. He's. It's pretty sealed, pretty good. Ah, thanks, Patricia. He cannot get under my door. it looks okay. I'm going to snip these these ends shorter though. Yep, I'm going to snip these a little bit shorter. some cotton. Shake it. Now shake it. Okay. Hey, that does work. That's cool. Just get these dovetails done and then we'll shake it again. I 
probably should have done that before I did the bow, right? Now it's getting the bow off. Wonky. See this thing sticking up here? Why is he sticking up? Aw, oh, thank you, Candy. We are in the same boat, Candy. Well, I missed that. Yep, I should have done this before, but I didn't. So now, you know, I gotta re-fluff all the time because I goofed up. You telling your secrets, Faith? <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. sharing. I think I got them all. These tails. I hate these tails. Well, let's get her on the, on the wreath and see what we have. You can fluff them and fluff them and it's never right, right? I think after watching Damon clip after the bow made its way to go, that way you get the tails trimmed the length you want. Very true, very true, Candy. Oh, this wreath is getting heavy. All right, so. Now to put the bow in. Hmm. Well, that's one big bow. What do y'all think? Right there? Put that right there. And, I don't know, should I lay, the, lay this guy inside the middle of it or put it on the side? What do y'all think? Right. I think they add a lot to your bow. Thank you. Make a lot of tight bows for the Easter wreaths. I did, but bigger. I shake them a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patricia. In the middle. All right. Put it in the middle. Okay, we'll do that, but we better get the bow on first. So we're going to put the bow underneath the welcome, I think. At least I think we are. <laughs> you got to make room, get down in there. And put it in the middle. See, I told you. You're right. You're right, Faith. I'm so glad you're here, girl. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> oh, that's kind of pretty. So, if anybody would like this wreath, it's $60, including shipping. And that's a good deal because I think this thing's going to be a heavy wreath. <laughs> so, let me get this bow added. Ah, the wire loves the mesh, doesn't it? Just loves to grab onto this mesh. I'll have to stand up for this one in a minute here. The more loops, the more to shake. 
I might have to shake the whole wreath. I may not have shook it enough. <laughs> Turn around these tails. I'm not sure if I dovetailed that one. Well, I guess it doesn't dovetail very well. I have to stand up for this. You could just fluff these things forever and they're never fluffed enough. Not many do it. Yes, I've never seen shaking. I never heard of shaking it. That's a good little tip. Thank you. But I should have shook it more. Do one, not fluffing it as the old way, and then do it my way. See the difference. You're absolutely right, Faith. So... There's the bow. Put the old, where'd that wire come from? And put the, this little guy in the middle, you think? Or should I put him on the top, maybe? What do you think of putting him up here? Sticking out. I don't know. I need, I need suggestions. Or maybe to the side of it. What do y'all think? I was kind of worried if I put him in the middle, he gets, he gets eaten up in there. But that's kind of cute there. Sure, Faith, go right ahead. Not sure on where to put the flamingo. You think he gets eaten up in the bow? I'm not sure about this. This flamingo thing has got me today. Between breaking one and now this guy, he just can't figure out where to go. You like it on the bow? Alrighty. We'll keep him on the bow then. So I may come back. I'll have to come back and finish this. Oh, anytime, Faith. Anytime. Listen, it's not about, what does Damon say? It's not about competition. It's about community. I think that's what it is. Did I get that right? <laughs> it's community over competition. That's what he says. We're all in this together. Maybe wait and see if you can find another one like the one that broke. Then make your decision. You're right, Candy. I think I may do that because this little guy gets swallowed up in here, I think. So, I'm going to come back and finish, him, finish this wreath. But if anyone wants it, it'll be 60, including shipping. You can send me a message or find it on, on my Etsy shop, Reads by Connie M. M like McCormick, the seasoning.
And here's my noisy air conditioner. I think I might put a little bow up here. And see, I don't know, just irritates me about that. Or I might put this little guy over to the side like this. Then you could see him more. What do y'all think? So. Well, I guess I'll come back and finish this. Um, please like and follow my page. Thank you, Candy. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. And please type alert and alert again if you'd like to know when I'm going live. And hoping the bot works. But you have to type alert the second time. So, thank you, Faith. I appreciate that. It's not done yet. I'm going to come back and do a little more to it. Maybe either later tonight or tomorrow sometime. But I appreciate everyone for being here sharing your Saturday afternoon with me. Let me put you up so I can talk to you. Ooh, I cover the camera every time I do that. We'll do that, Faith. We'll come and visit you. When are you normally live? Do you put out notifications? Thank you for typing alert, Jeanette. Janetta. Again, I just want to thank you all for being here. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Please follow my page. Like and follow. Ah, oh, thanks so much, Faith. That's so nice of you. I kind of needed it to shape this bow a little more, though. <laughs> but, so again, watch for my, um, alert to finish this up I don't know if I get my husband to take me to Hobby Lobby to see about this flamingo but of course I'm sure if I go back they'll probably not have any more but we still have this little guy we'll stick him in somewhere I'm determined to use this guy <laughs> but to get it and get an Etsy up and running. Well, good luck with the Etsy, Faith. I have had mine up and running. I have not sold anything yet. I'll tell you what, the day I sell a wreath on Etsy, I'm going to celebrate and you guys are all going to know it. <laughs> Don't go. I will have to finish cleaning. <laughs> oh, Patricia. So sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Um, come back and watch me finish this up. I'm going to see if my husband will take me to Hobby Lobby. Ooh, that'll be a challenge. <laughs> but he might, he might surprise me and say, okay. Unfortunately for me, Hobby Lobby is not very far from my house. So, I always find if I walk away and come back later, it makes sense to me as to what to do. You're right, Candy. That's why I think I'm going to um, come back and finish this. And if I don't find another flamingo, then we'll use this guy. They didn't have very many. That's my concern. So I may have to use this guy. Well, you have to make that your number one. You're right, Faith. So, again, I love having you guys watch me, and I love having you with me, and I appreciate everyone for being here. Please don't forget to follow my page. 
and check out my Etsy shop, Breeds by Connie M. Because we are going to celebrate when I sell my first wreath on my Etsy shop. That will be an awesome day. <laughs> Bribe him with cookies. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't always work with him. But he's usually pretty good about taking me, so he just knows I spend too much money there. <laughs> so he's not too anxious about it. But you guys all have their, a great rest of your afternoon. And come back and see me. Thank you, Faith. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So this wreath, when it does get done, it's going to be 60, including shipping. And let me tell you something. It's hot, heavy. <laughs> not too bad. I mean, not too heavy for your door or anything, but it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty fluffy. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate that. I appreciate you all. Let me tell you, it just means a lot to have you here with me. So, you all have a great rest of your day. Great weekend. I might be back before the weekend's over if I can figure out this flamingo thing. And God bless you all.